it is time to be fair to Stavri because it is time for the record fair. Now let's go down and find some records. <laughs>
Well, Miss Gulmar, how do you feel that my visit at the record fair went? As you can see, the lady is speechless. Well, what better place to show what I found at than here in the port? It is uh, not a normal weather for being in the port. <laughs> uh, very wintry, but very, very nice to see the port at winter time also. When it comes to the fair, uh, let's just say that it was one of the most crowdiest fairs I've been to in a long, long time. There was a lot of people, uh, and uh, that's good, of course, for the future of this fair. Uh, when it comes to the records, it was also one of the more expensive for. Uh, comes to the records uh, the sellers had put some really uh, big prices on them so uh, I felt like it was a little bit tough actually for the most part to find anything worth of interest because either it was too expensive it was stuff that I don't normally listen to or uh, there was stuff that I had uh, so uh, but uh, I of course got home with stuff of course, you, you don't think that I'm going to the record fair and walk home empty-handed, don't you? Uh, so, it was a lot of jazz this time. Uh, but starting with some 45s. Uh, first we have Swedish Slagesinger Lars Löndal and some really classics. Uh, we have a Bob Marley, the posthume released Iron Lion sign from 92. We have Billy Joel and his version of Back in the USSR. We have from TV fame Inner Circle Bad Boys. What you gonna do when they come for you? And a little interesting one. This is <laughs> uh, Warner Brothers uh, and uh, yeah, Sweet to the Bird uh, and uh, Bug Bunny, and they're actually our songs. I just bored because of the obscurity, and uh, I'm lucky that no one had took taken the opportunity to paint this as they actually want the kids to do but it was very funny to find we have CDs this one I was very very happy to find because I wanted to have it for quite some time U2 Rattle and Hum I don't have this one and I'm very happy to have it right now for two dollars And we have Alanis Morissette from 2002, uh, Under Rug Swept. And we have more interesting CD stuff. Travis, The Man Who from 99, the one with Why Does It Always Wane On Me and Turn. And also Smash Mouth, uh, some very light late 90s Brit pop. This is from 99. They're most famous for the song All Star. Hey now, you're an all star. This is a really great song, actually. So it's a little bit of risk taking, but I felt like I wanted to give it a chance. Now, the full length vinyl. First, Stan Getz West Coast Jazz with Shelly Maine. Le Leroy Vinegar, Conte Condoli, and Lou Levia. Levy. From 1956. We have a Duke Ellington side by side, which is connected to uh, the back to back album that he and John Hall just did. So it's good to have both of them.
Clark Terry and Bob Brookmeyer quintet. This is, from what I understand, a live uh, live album from the 60s. Released on Riverside. We have this one. It was really interesting. I like those small, obscure uh, record labels that release the stuff that not have been seen before. And uh, in its glory, Fats Gang, which is Fats Navarro, and uh, Anito Day and Ted Damron, released on Talscript. Uh, and uh, I never heard of this label, and uh, this is from uh, what it says Live Checks. So this is a uh, Really, really nice stuff. Swedish big band leader Harry Arnold and his uh, Swedish radio studio orchestra Flight SK641. Swedish jazz. And uh, actually we have uh, Benny Bailey on trumpet here also because he and Quincy Jones uh, work with uh, Harry Arnold and uh, both Benny Bailey and Quincy Jones stayed in Sweden for a longer while after that. Mick Fleetwood from Fleetwood Mac and I'm Not Me from 1981 I think. Very very interesting. And finally Rufus Party Till You're Broke I'm soon getting complete of Rufus albums. <laughs> Uh, so uh, this one is from 81. So uh, it was a, a good fair still, even though I had some problems to find those really interesting stuff that I'm interested in. But uh, as you can see also, there was one couple who did some minor live shows uh, for uh, one person only that put on the headphone and they did a a small live show with one or two songs for them. It's a very, very interesting concept. So, with that, I hope that you have enjoyed the record fair as much as I have. It's always nice, if not also, to uh, meet other record collectors and friends and so on. So, uh, until next time, take care and...